Hey VC, David again. It's final update time. And boy have I been looking forward to this one. Uh, last week it was my birthday. So what, what do you do on your birthday? You buy records. At least that's what I did. And I've tracked down and I've found a whole bunch of fantastic LPs here to show everybody. Uh, but before I begin, uh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, Maggie. Hey Maggie. Uh, wearing the old Peyton Manning jersey here for you, Max. Uh, our Denver Broncos beat the Colts today. So that this is in, in honor of that. So go Broncos. Alright, so let's uh, get stuck into it. We've got a bit of a pile to get through here. And I can actually blame uh, Brother Greeno for a bunch of these. So thanks, dude. This first record I'm going to show is not one that I actually got for my birthday. Uh, I got it a few weeks ago, uh, and it's actually one that um, I saw uh, King's drummer, uh, Gil. How are you doing, Gil? I, sure, I saw Gil uh, show this in one of his updates recently. This is Eric Johnson's brand new double live LP called Europe Live. Um, I'm a big, big Eric Johnson fan. Here's the awesome gatefold. He's just a fantastic guitar player. Um, just an amazing guitar tone. And his ability is just off the charts. Um, this record is really, really well produced, really well recorded. And for anybody who loves uh, EJ, this is a this is definitely a must a must own. So get th get things kicked off with a bit of Eric Johnson. Why not? Here's one that um, I originally saw Eli show in one of his updates a long, long time ago. Um, and when he showed it, I, I thought, man, damn, I've got to get that. And I finally found it. Buddy Miles with his uh, Them Changes record. I think it's 19, from 1970, I think. Uh, Buddy Miles obviously being... Uh, Drummer for Jimi Hendrix in the Beatles Band of Gypsies. And this is a great record. Just really, really bluesy, soulful. Uh, Buddy, Buddy was a great singer too, as well as being a fantastic drummer. Uh, so really, really happy to have this one in the collection. Next up is another one of my all-time favourites. Gary Moore. This is uh, Ballads and Blues. This is a compilation record. It's a bit of a greatest hits of, of Gary's. His song Story of the Blues is still one of my all-time favorites. Uh, this is a great, great pickup. All right, Chris Fitzy72 is to blame for this one. Live Rain. Recently I bought a record by a band called Howl and Rain. And Chris showed this in one of his videos and uh, suggested that I get it. So here you, go, here you go, Chris. Picked up Live Rain. It's a fantastic live album. Excellent pressing, really well put together. And in the in the pack, actually, it came with a couple of a uh, couple of concert posters, little mini recreations. Uh, so here's here's one here. And there's there's another one as well. It's just a really really great pressing, great sound, fantastic band. Uh, that's that's what you're looking for in a live album. Howl and Rain with their live rain record. While watching one of Brother Greeno's recent videos, hey Greeno, I jumped on over to the Nuclear Blast website and ordered some records. First of which is a Swiss band Gotthard with their brand new record called Bang. Uh, this band is great. I had no idea who they were until I hit the website, um, listen to a couple songs. Um, a band that's been going for quite a while uh, in Switzerland, just a great, good time, rock, hard rock and roll band uh, with a fantastic lead singer. Their lead, lead singer is a great, really great front man. Um, and this, this record is really well produced and has a lot of great, uh, a lot of great songs on it. So if you, you like your rock a little bit hard, a little bit bluesy, uh, definitely Gotthard is a band to check out for sure. Uh, here's one that uh, I can blame Greeno for. A band from Iceland 
called Vintage Caravan. And this is their this is their record Voyage. This thing has been kicking my butt. This is really really great. A young a young band, a three piece, and they play really bluesy psychedelic, uh, almost 70s style uh, rock. And it's a really really great, really well written and arranged album. Um, it takes you on a real trip. Um, can't you tell by the colour? Um, so definitely Vintage Caravan, great, uh, great, great new band. Here's another band that I had no idea about, but based on the this album cover alone, I figured I had to I had to like it. It's a band from Germany called Voodoo Circle, and this is their Broken Heart Syndrome record from 2011. Uh, it's definitely bluesy. It's definitely hard rock. Uh, but it has pretty melodic uh, play, guitar playing and um, songs overall. There's the band. And it's really um, a, f a fun listen. It's definitely bluesy and, and hard, but it um, has string arrangements in a lot of the songs. And it's uh, almost classical in, in its approach as far as uh, some of the guitar playing and soloing and things is concerned. Um, but definitely a band to check out if you haven't heard of Voodoo Circle before. Next up, a little bit closer to home, a new Aussie band called Massive. And this is their, their first record called Full Throttle. This is another album that's been kicking my butt um, and took me by surprise. There's the gatefold. If you could imagine early old school Guns N' Roses mixed with a little bit of ACDC and a little bit of Stray Cats. This album really surprised me and it's a, it's a really great raucous in your face, um, big block rock as they, as they call it. And it comes on this uh, really nice uh, transparent pink because that's, that's manly isn't it? Transparent pink vinyl. Definitely an excellent album to check out if you haven't already. Here is Rainbow's Live in Munich 1977. Come on. That was the year I was born, but don't tell anybody. Um, awesome live album. The band is fantastic. And this was an album that I had on my radar for quite a while. Yellow and Orange Red Splatter. Check that out. That's cool, huh? So Rainbow Live in Munich, again, fantastic hard rock band from the 70s, Ronnie James Dio, Richie Blackmore, Cozy, Dave, Bob, awesome. Then I jumped on over to High Roller Records' website um, and bought a few more, few more records. All of these um, I can also blame Bruno for, just because I, that's what I do. Uh, the first band is a Japanese band, uh, definitely a hard, hard rock band, I guess with dashes of metal thrown in. Um, and they're called Blaze, and this is their uh, Rock Dinosaur EP. It's a six, six track EP. This band is unreal. They just kick butt. They, um, songs are in your face and hard and heavy and, and Good fun. This one comes on uh, nice pale orange, and just because it's sometimes it's fun to do things in twos. Here's Blaze again. Um, this is their full full length album. Uh, just an excellent, excellent pressing, fantastic sound, great band. Definitely bluesy based, uh, but definitely hard, and uh, lots and lots of fun to listen to. Check out that pressing. How cool does that look? So Blaze is definitely a, a band to check out if you like uh, hard rock. Fantastic band, great album. You should you should check that one out. All right, we're going to finish up in Sweden. I got this on CD a little while back, but I've been waiting to get it on vinyl, and I finally did. This is Heavy Tiger with their Saigon Kiss album, sexy three piece from Sweden. Uh, these girls rock. 
I guess if you could imagine a, a modern day version of Joan Jett and the Black Hearts, or maybe the Runaways. Um, this band really has that sort of vibe about them, but they're really uh, just a great listen. Really well written songs, great great pop tunes that are rocked up, which is which is always great. So there you go, Heavy Tiger. So thanks everybody for checking out this uh, vinyl update, my birthday edition. Um, thanks for checking it out. Hopefully you saw something here that uh, interested you. Um, as always, hope everybody's doing well, and we'll see you soon.